We're back on the magic of the musicals and it's always nice to see an old friend. Scarlett Strallen is gorgeous, delicious, talented and now the star of Broadway. That sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. How are you? Because it's been a couple of years since I last spoke to you and there you were, just a lowly West End performer. <laughs> oh, and- I don't know about that. The West End is rather wonderful too. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're here on 42nd Street in one of the most beautiful theatres in Mary Poppins as the star. It doesn't get any better than this, does it? No, my head is still spinning. It really is. It's such a whirlwind. Um, I'm still... Uh, my feet haven't touched the ground, literally, quite in this show. Um, it's very, very exciting still. I'm still getting to know the city and getting to know the people in the show, and it's very, very fun. But to be asked by Disney to do it must mean you're the best woman for this role in the world. Oh, I'm not sure. Sh- I mean, that's very kind, but... I think I'm just a very lucky girl. I'm very lucky and I was in the right place at the right time. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's every it's every performer's dream to play Broadway. I mean, I don't care what anyone says. It's, it's such a magnificent experience because the audiences here are so incredibly inspiring. They just sort of will you through it and enjoy and they're with you at every moment. Um, so it's, it's a, an experience. I think, though, you're being very humble because having seen you do this role in the West End, you can't fake it. There's no playing with that accent. And I know in the film it was kind of a joke and Mary needs to be Mary. And I think the reason that they've not risked this is because you can't muck about with it, can you? Well, no, it's such a typical English um, show as well as the part. It's 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 very, very English and particular. And um, it's obviously quite difficult for the Americans to do the, the accents. Although, saying that, everyone's accent in the show is really great, especially the kids. <laughs> the kids really astound me every night. They don't they don't falter ever. She's got to have that air of betterness about her above everybody else. I <laughs> know. I find that tricky every single night, I have to say. It's, you know, there's a big expectation on my shoulders because everyone also has this idea of Mary and, you know, they come to the show with an idea of maybe they have Julie Andrews in their head, maybe they know the books. Um, So, you know, I really have to live up to being perfect every night, which isn't easy on those shows when you feel extremely tired. Let's talk about you and settling in here. What happens then? You come and move into a hotel or they give you an apartment. How does it work? Well, I I started off by moving into a hotel when I first got here with my sort of eight huge suitcases, my life with me for the year. And then I I actually sort of looked around the city myself. I used it as a way of getting to know where everything was. I'd only been here visiting before. And um, it was a really good way to find out the different areas. Everywhere is so different. Um, and I've, I've managed to find a really lovely place, which is in Midtown, but slightly f- near the river. So I get the lovely views. Um, and I'm near, near to the theatre, so it's best of both worlds, really. And what happens with Christmas in New York then? Because your family are on the other side, your sister's in The Sound of Music, you're here. What are you going to do? Well, um, I'm, I'm sad they can't be with me. Usually we get together at Christmas and we're very tired because we've been doing lots of shows, <laughs> all of us. And, you know, people imagine it's this big showbiz Christmas. It's really not. We're just exhausted lying on the sofa watching EastEnders usually. Um, but this Christmas, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to spend it with some friends in New York and my, my partner that will be flying here. Um, and hopefully my, my family all came out for my opening night, so they'll come out again next year. I'll really look forward to seeing them again. Do you pinch yourself daily and think, is this all a dream? Because it's so surreal, isn't it? It's so surreal. It's That is exactly what I do. I wake up every morning and I pinch myself. (laughs) I can't believe it. And I've had lots of friends visit me and that's wonderful to sort of keep my feet on the ground. Um, And, you know, I love England still, And but it's so wonderful to just have this life experience, not only, you know, seeing the differences between the Broadway and West End, but just just the life experience of being in a different country and a different culture although we seem alike we're not very similar <laughs> you know you're running up and down those stairs continually and you have to stay absolutely rock solid uh-huh. how exhausted are you and how much pain are you in at the end of the week <laughs> I've sort of managed to to work out a way of, um, you know, I've played the part that long that I've 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 worked a way of compensating and and making it okay. I mean, t- I'm not going to lie. By the end of the eight shows, 
um, my legs are ready to drop <laughs> off. But, you know, I just have to take it easy on my, my rest times. And being here in America, I don't wish to be crude, but there's a buffet on every corner. What about a clinically obese Mary Poppins? That won't work, will it? I know. I, I was slightly worried when I saw the most amazing cake shop right next to my, <laughs> my apartment. And I, I wondered if people will recognise me when I come home. But thankfully, that's the best part about playing, playing this role, because I get to eat what I like and burn it off within five minutes. And now you're an English woman in New York. What is the best thing to do? For me, it's to go to Central Park and leave the uh, mayhem of Times Square and go and have a salad up there. That's beautiful. What's your favourite thing to do here in New York? Uh, my favourite thing is brunch. Everyone does brunch <laughs> here. We don't really do that back home. But, you know, I love eating. So, you know, going to new brunch places, sitting and chatting, watching the world go by, that's my favourite thing. And there is a restaurant and a cafe and a diner on every single corner, isn't oh, there? Oh, yes. It's, it's a lot about food here. Has there been a moment where you've woke up and thought, I'm ready to go home yet? I can't say I have. <laughs> I love my home and I, of course, miss my home. But um, I'm just sort of enjoying enjoying the moment. And let's just describe this theatre for a moment because it is tremendous. I mean, our theatres are always better than the Broadway theatres because they're older and they're built properly. But this has been renovated by the Disney people and it's just mm -hmm. fabulous, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. It's incredible how they've done it. Um, it's a really wonderful house to play as well. It's very warm and wide and... Um, uh, I love it. I really love it. I'm very lucky to be here because I, I know from going to see other Broadway shows, this is definitely one of the best, one of the best of the best. And then you've got the best thing in the West End, I think, full stop. Well, there's two things. Disney have got both of them. There's the opening to The Lion King, which is just phenomenal. Mm. And then there's the closing of your show. We're going to give it away because everybody knows that you fly off at the end. Do you ever get tired or sick of seeing the reaction from the kids' faces who, let's face it, are stunned at what happens at the end? It's so clever. I never ever get tired and it's not just kids it's it's their grandparents and their parents <laughs> it's the generations that have their mouths dropped to the floor and and here it's really special as well because in London I didn't have such a big swoop down and and for some reason I can see people's faces so much more here and I fly over the circle and I'm literally face to face I can see I can see people's faces so much clearer here um, and it's it's really moving Let's not get too personal, but the pain involved with that hoist thing? Oh, I'm used to it now. <laughs> it's, not so, it's not so bad, and it's quite quick and brief. And how's that Gavin Lee doing? He's great. I haven't seen much of him. He's doing lots of promotion work for the tour, um, but he's, he's a dear friend of mine and will always be. Say hello to Inform Me, and congratulations to you. You're amazing, you're talented, you're gorgeous. Aww. You've got everything that a Broadway star should have. And when I met you all those years ago, and when you are in Mary, it's just blatantly obvious, and I said to you at the time, so few people have personality. And I think you remember if I said on the day that both of you would end up, and I said Gavin would definitely <laughs> be coming to Broadway, and he said, oh, no, no, it won't happen. That's true, I do remember that. Yep. Wow, you need to predict more. I'm like a more psychic, aren't things. I? <laughs> more great things, please. Well, that's the thing. And what can I predict now? You're at the top. I mean, there's nowhere to go from here. You're on Broadway. You're the big star don't of your own that. show. <laughs> don't say that. You've got everything. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you.